one sixteen point eight twenty point one percent body fat. So the scale tells me nothing. Happy Saturday. Welcome to week number six. Whose idea of an amazing Saturday morning breakfast includes salmon and rice first thing in the morning before anything anyone that is my refeed meal number one today so I get to have all this wonderful rice that I also have burnt and salmon so I'm sure it'll taste great with coffee beautiful Saturday morning and just finished my delicious salmon and burnt rice very good my coach promised that I would feel amazing after eating that meal can't say I feel amazing I actually really prefer my oatmeal with blueberries and egg whites so uh, just on my way to the gym and usually I save my weekends for my rest days and if I end up going to the gym it's like a voluntary thing so this is a little different and Skylar stayed at home which is fine because I have I'm, I'm on a mission when I go to the gym today I gotta get my cardio in and I have to do my leg day so no time for chit chat and hanging out but excited to go in get her done and then see what the rest of Saturday will have in store protein shake when I got home from the gym now I'm having some coffee and this is meal two eggs and spinach um, so I could do a full day of eating today probably could do that we'll see how that goes but so far I had my salmon and rice this morning for breakfast and now I'm having my egg whites and spinach meal two I don't usually eat in my bedroom, but there's light in here, and I'm running around doing a million things, but I thought I would show you my next meal, meal three, which is broccoli and chicken, if you can tell. Broccoli and chicken. And I lightly seasoned it with pepper, Himalayan salt, and some Briggs. Meal three. And I'm doing a bunch of stuff at home right now, but gonna go for a walk in a few minutes. Just went for a stroll, got some errands done, picked up, picked up some treats for later, i.e. zero calorie drinks. 
getting to that point. I know they're not good for you and you shouldn't drink them very often, but generally, if I wasn't in prep, I would indulge in a coconut water or a kombucha, but because I gotta really be, I have to be very mindful, <laughs> because I have to be very mindful of every calorie at this point, it's zero calorie stuff for now. Also, really getting into the zero calorie sugar free, well it's not zero calorie, but the sugar free gum, also terrible for you. And my dentist told me long before I was in prep that I shouldn't be chewing gum because I love chewing gum. But again, you gotta pick your battles at this point. I don't wanna be miserable. So if it's just, if a little sugar-free gum makes me happy, I'm gonna let myself have it for now until my coach says otherwise. But if you're trying to actually live a healthier lifestyle, don't drink zero calorie drinks. Don't chew sugar-free gum. It's not good for you. Do what I say, not what I do. Unless you're on prep. But still, you should be listening to an expert. I almost forgot to film my next meal, which is meal four today. And I'm having more broccoli and chicken. It's very exciting. And some water. So, meal four, broccoli and chicken, sloth on the couch, Saturday. Totally forgot to film my next meal, but I did switch couches. It used to be on that couch over there, but I gained the strength and energy. Let's move over to this couch so we could be closer together. And my my fifth meal of the day was ground turkey and more spinach. Put a little mustard on there to change it up. It was delicious, but I forgot to video that before. So, fifth meal down, one more to go. This is my last meal of the night, which is some rice and salmon again same thing as my first meal as instructed by my coach and he wants to see how this will affect my composition after a day so tomorrow I'm going to see him have a check-in I have posing class have a check-in and see how my body has responded to my salmon and rice today so very exciting stuff I think it did, Carmen, because it just, it just wasn't some very intense curling going down this morning. I'm here, of course, eating my green beans and chicken. Meal number two today. Already had my egg whites this morning. It's pretty fantastic. Just finished posing class, and I'm on the bus now home. I always feel a lot better after posing class because I meet with my coach. And he's always very supportive and reminds me of our goals and how far we've come so far. So cardio so far I think is just going to stay the same, which is totally doable for me. So feeling good on a beautiful Sunday. It's Monday and I am so tired. I stayed up so late uh, driving Skylar home from the event that I worked at with them. And now I have leg day and cardio, so it's happening. Yay. Hello. Workout is done. It was legs today and cardio, and it's Monday, and it has been, it's actually a stat holiday here in Vancouver, and I didn't have to go to work, so it was very, very hard for me to peel myself out of bed today and go to the gym this morning, but, of course, now that I've done it, I feel so good and I'm so glad it's already done and I get to go home and eat. I kind of woke up this morning and just decided I wanted to go to the gym right away, which means I didn't eat yet today, which is bad because I think it's like probably almost one. And it's really not good because 
After you work out, you really want to at least have a protein shake right away so that your muscles have fuel they need to start to recover. You want to preserve your muscle and burn body fat. So, kind of a bit of a fail on that one. I just finished my I just finished my cardio and now I'm headed back to work. And I was just thinking while I was on the stair mill that I heard once a fitness competitor say that success or progress while you're training for a competition is not linear, meaning that it doesn't just go like this up on a scale. You start here and every day you improve until you get to the finish line because that's just not how it is. You start out your prep, you have good days, you have bad days, you go up in weight, you go down in weight. You have good workouts, you have like mediocre workouts, and mentally it's all over the place. But hopefully, at the end, there is an overall improvement. But you can't really track it on a day to day basis, and that's kind of just something that goes for anything that you're training for, whether it's a fitness competition or you're training for a sport whatever personal goal you might have, it's not gonna be a linear process. It's not gonna be that you can see progress every single day and change. And that's, it's, it's the tough part, but that's why it's important to, you know, track your progress in all kinds of different ways, through photographs, through like strength, through measurements, through your mentality, all of those things, so. I'm just trying to refocus on that and definitely get more on the mental side of things because that's where I think I'm losing a bit of my focus and that's where it needs to be most right now. So Wednesday thoughts. I'm on my way to the gym. I have some pre-workout in my We Love Vancouver water bottle. Ah! And it's the first time I've ever tried pre-workout in my life. I think it tastes really sweet, like candy, which I like. So I think the placebo effect is that I just get super hyped at the thought that I'm having tons of sugar, but I'm actually having chemicals, which is not awesome. But I do feel a tingling in my muscles. Okay, so now we're at the grocery store and Skylar surprised me and met me at the gym, which was very sweet. And so my thoughts on pre-workout, I definitely finished my workout faster than I have in the past and I didn't feel all crazy, jittery and freaked out like I thought I would, so. Because you did it all natural, right? Yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna definitely probably keep using it for my back and biceps day because it's such a long day and I usually dread it because it takes forever. So now we're at the grocery store and I'm finding with each week that I'm closer to my competition, I get a little grumpier and grumpier at the grocery store. <laughs> we just walked by the most beautiful display of avocados that I've ever seen. They were so big and all of them were just the perfect readiness to eat. Also all the apples. So like I don't really crave bad stuff, I just crave different stuff. Anyways, fun. Well, we're at another grocery store. Did we walk past the seafood? Anyways, I'm feeling very low energy with my lack of carbohydrates. So, be prepared in the next future videos that this is going to be the level of excitement and energy that I have for things. Unless, of course, it's after Saturday, because Saturday I get carbs. On my way to do hammies and glutes, it's Friday. Woohoo! I've got my second experience with pre-workout lined up here, but this time it is the Vega All Natural 
Under Skylar's advice, I'm only taking half of the little packet. They come in single serving packets. So I only took half. I tried a swig of this. It definitely doesn't have all the sucralose and taurine and aspartame that that other brand had because the other brand tasted like Sour Patch Candies and this tastes like unsweetened pico orange tea. Where's the fake sweetener at? So flavor wise not so good, health wise probably a lot better, definitely a lot better. To wrap up another week I hope I have good footage I have no idea I can't remember anything that happened but I did have a really good leg workout in terms of the pre-workout it didn't make me feel like I had any crazy burst of insane energy I kind of just had the same energy I usually have at the gym which I think is good because I think if I didn't take it I would have had less I would have felt a lot more tired sooner so I was totally able to get through the whole workout and feel good about it. So, so this is the end of week six. Tomorrow is officially five weeks. Perhaps in my next video I'll talk about some of the things that I miss about regular life and some of the realities of prep that I knew kind of, I had some expectations of when I started this, but it's not until you actually do it, live it every single day that you really understand the sacrifice, commitment, the inconvenience, the isolation, the time, the energy, everything that it kind of, it's all consuming. So it's tough. Another typical Friday, I am in my sweats. Got my uh, dinner happening here, just some ground chicken, spinach. So that's already been cooked, so that's nice. So just gonna chill kind of what I like to do best on a Friday. So good night, and I'll see you in week five.